Hello. I pumps your emotional state. You fucking bitch. Now pay the fuck attention. Because today we're talking about streaks. And streaks are what I love in this world. Don't make me kick your ass. I ate my own mother on her birthday. What? You don't think I'll fucking do it? I'll kick your fucking ass, bitch. Meow. Okay, now that that totally unrelated uh, intro is over, let's talk about streaks. This is a video I promised like probably over a year ago now. Um, I kept saying my next video will be on streaks, but then I just kept getting uh, occupied with other stuff. And then finally, I have a video now on streaks. Although if you go to um, video 12, as it's called, uh, Tooling of Earth Part 12, that's like the eight hour one that's like broken up into like four or five parts. Uh, I talk about beach ridges there and like the conventional theory behind it. So you can revisit that if you want to. And quick note um, on the previous chapter, um, Sheared flat land. I may have promised tours of some more areas, but I just decided to move on. Um, there's more areas we could have toured in Google Earth, but uh, I just, I don't know, things are getting long anyways, long-winded. So we are talking today about streaks, moving on to this chapter 11 of this mini-series, the various types of anomalies on Earth's surface, which is a module, if you will, within the tooling of Earth, which continues. Okay, so let's talk about some streaks. And I put maybe next to it because I, the only real, uh, um, well, there's some artificial looking uh, angles and stuff, but uh, it's still a maybe for me. I'm on the fence about it. Because, I mean, the, the natural explanation does make sense. And then there's also some slightly fishy idiosyncrasies with some of the streaks. So um, I, I could go either way on it. So streaks may or may not be artificial and or artificially manipulated. Um, possibly from a pre-existing natural streak pattern. And by streaks, I mean like beach ridges or coastal dunes, as they're called. They have a couple names. Um, but this one in the thumbnail, it's in Venezuela. You've probably seen this a couple times now on my channel. And I uh, spiced up the coloration a little bit just to make it pop. But you kind of see these abrupt beach ridges, these angles here. And maybe we will uh, look at this in Google Earth, check it out. And uh, again, the idea with the streaks, the main point is like, it resembles kind of a winch, windshield wiper sweep um, in some cases, uh, which possibly hints at some type of artificial maneuver or protocol going on. Sorry, mouse foul. Um, so yeah, and then another thing we can look out for with these streaks is like an abrupt end or an angular end to the streaks. Over here it's a little more natural because this uh, tombolo, as it's called, tombolo, T-O-M-B-O-L-O. -O. It's like the stretch of land that goes between the mainland and this island here. Um, so that the abrupt transition over here makes a little sense, uh, a, a little sense, I'm not sure if that was pronounced correctly by me, um, but it does make sense. And then, but this transition here, there's like an awkward straight thing and then possibly a straight edge here. So straight edges are always something to look out for, angularity with these streaks. So I'm just gonna cruise through these images and um, I'll pick a handful of them to tour in Google Earth. Hopefully I won't talk your ear off I'll try and keep it to a reasonable length, uh, Brazil. 
these, okay, nothing really to point out here, just uh, demonstrating an example of what I'm talking about. So these large scale streaks, in some cases looking very fine and regular and some like almost straight and mechanical. Other places they're more wavy, so this would be a more wavy uh, example, although these are a little more straight here. So is what it is. Gabon in Africa, more of the same basically. Here, like right around in this area, looking a little mechanical, but um, it's just stark. That doesn't just because it looks mechanical doesn't mean it is. Like um, water level <clears throat> is going to ebb and flow, ebb and flow pretty predictably um, for long periods of time. So it's going to result in these rings or or beach ridges. Um, so just. Uh, here's another one, uh, this one <clears throat> forming like a cuspate foreland, as it's called, I think. Kind of a nice flowy pattern, just another another look to it. And Louisiana, there's some lines here possibly to do with the oil activity. Obviously all these channels, many of them uh, related to oil and natural gas exploration. Uh, and then, of course, these these big streaks are what I'm talking about. See, like here, like this streak right here. Let me zoom in. It almost looks like it curves like that. That's a little. If that's legit, then that's a little weird to me. Like, I don't know. These little segmentations are strange, and like these lines. So, so like, yeah, like look here, this, this segmentation here, it may have to do with this installation over here, whatever this is. Yeah. So that's another thing to look out for, like weirdly, uh, segmented streaks, uh, or, um, awkwardly, uh, interrupted somehow. If you can find some of that, like it's kind of awkward line right there, not looking like a navigation channel. I could be wrong, but I mean, these three little tick marks here just eh, could be nothing, could be something. So that's that. And this one in Florida, slightly different look. Um, this one I think I chose because it just kind of looks a little awkwardly straight on the edge there just kind of has a natural flow and then it just kind of fades into like a very very straight mechanical pattern um, subjectively doesn't mean it's artificial but it might be okay here's the conventional explanation for streaks or beach ridges beach ridges form when wind and ocean currents dump huge loads of sediment just offshore Eventually, the sediment deposits grow high enough that the waves cannot wash over it, creating a new beach. Over time, beach after beach was formed, creating a series of ridges stretching out into the ocean. And uh, I think that little snippet in particular is referring to this area. It's called Cruzenstern National Park, like way up north in Alaska. And you see these, this is an aerial photo of these, what I'm calling streaks. Another one, so 114 beach ridges here, and they create a detailed timeline of the history of the beach. So there's, it's like the younger ridges are here, and the older ridges are back here. Um, and let's see, and I think the soils do corroborate that or like the difference in um, soil composition or beach composition, uh, if I remember correctly. And then um, also like cultural um, evidence at the in the beach ridges, at least at this site. So this Cape Crucian Stern National 
don't, monument is a funky word. Um, I should talk about that eventually, but coastal plain dotted with blah, blah, blah. And the gist of this whole thing is uh, uh, the history of the human inhabit inhabiting of the area is kind of documented by the artifacts left behind in the ridges. So there is um, some age to these beach ridges and I, uh, I mean, I think there could be some mimicry going on, like some beach ridges are natural and some are artificial or um, like mimicking the natural patterns or uh, riffing off of the natural patterns, like altering them somehow. Um, so we may have both natural and artificial ridges or just natural or just artificial and hopefully that uncertainty is not too annoying, but I just don't know at this point. Uh, okay. And Russia. So we also have uh, streaks in rivers, like the, um, the river meandering uh, creates these river loops and the streaks. And if you watch the cartoonish rivers videos, on my channel, then you know that I think that some of these streaks are mimicked or artificial. So here's just another look at it. And then also we have these lines and bumps and stuff. Russia, another spot. Uh, these are pretty interesting. They're nice and abrupt ending. And uh, here we see multiple trajectories like fanning out kind of and overtaking the other trajectory and I can see this one being natural or artificial either one either one would make sense to me and the abruptness does not necessarily indicate artificiality uh, nature creates some abrupt patterns often uh, I just find it uh, eye provoking or eye taking <laughs> What word am I looking for? Captivating? There we go. So another one in Russia. This one is pretty weird. Um, and unless this is like surface mining or some type of modern industrial activity, then this is a pretty weird one like to con consider as natural. Like, I don't think this is natural like this. This would be the, a good example of like the segmentation of the streaks I'm talking about. Like, dude, so that may be a modern thing. But like even this little thing right here, like see that? Just like these little angles and um, little uh, cross hatches or whatever. Um, and then just the the weird way it like ends. It's like a. It certainly seems artificial and awkward to me. Another little segmented thing there awkward and artificial of these and if you look at the surrounding streaks like these look more natural certainly although um, oddly straight and parallel and mechanical but not necessarily artificial anyways uh, and then we have the streaks back here as well looking much more natural than these ones here so these are more fishy than the surrounding streaks I would say these ones are odd very odd. And we even have little stuff like this uh, that may be road related. It's tough to say. Um, even like this little thing, like this little whoopty. Hard to say. And these streaks, not quite sure what those are. And see these like dirt, 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 like herky, herky jerky um, patterns etched in the surface somehow and back here some possible like angular weirdness to it um, we'll check that out hopefully I'll remember to tour this area in Google Earth Venezuela this one it's one of the first streaks examples that caught my eye we've got streaks all the way back here like We've got these uh, streaks in this direction, which may be like natural runover or maybe not, might be artificial. We've got like like no streaks because there's river here. 
which uh, different uh, landscape or whatever. And these remnants of older streaks apparently um, starting up again back here. And these streaks can be like up to five or ten miles inland from the coast. I think this is one of those sites that these are like like four miles back or something like that from the coast. Like this is like four miles. Like I can't remember exactly, but somewhere between like two and five miles. Okay, and then we have these. Uh, just the way that streaks trail off like this, I don't know, it just irked my, or cued my spidey senses. And even like stuff like this, like, it's maybe like a sister maneuver of this type of maneuver, if this is artificial. And very regular and straight in some places, like especially like right here, and some of these segmentations not necessarily looking natural, although some of that may be modern. It's uh, just subjectively awkward. Uh, and here, maybe some old grid stuff, like possible work by the same hand. Okay, Mexico, pretty similar thing some interesting bumps and dots and stuff in the areas. Th these streaks are interesting because they kind of like fade into uh, a bumpy pattern. Or they're like, yeah, th you have these bumps or mounds here, which are more like strategic or artificial looking. But then also we have these ones, which are like, uh, it's just like this streak naturally becomes a string of these little bump islands and then but we also have these bump or I mean like spot little uh, spot islands that are obviously somewhat stranger looking and several weird patterns in the water as well um, so I wonder if it's like another one of those like feature fades like fade into one type of feature from another type of feature. So like a beach ridge or beach streak and it just kind of like fades into the dots, like the dots pattern. Like, and then these are like right here, we're like halfway between this type of dots and this type of dots. So right here's like transition, like feature average or something like that. It's kind of out there, I know, but it could be like places right here. It's looking oddly like fine and regular and like too perfect almost. And similar stuff here, like it's a line and then it's dot. I mean, maybe it's just parts of it erode away and leave like little start and stop parts of the portions of the beach ridge. And that's why we have the what I'm calling bumps or dots could be like here it kind of dashes okay so hopefully we'll look at this if I feel like I'm up to it <laughs> um, and then another cool example Lake Michigan this is interesting I don't know just like the 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 two different converging ones like this kind of goes like this, and then this is like an, yet another set of angle. I said that weird. Um, so we have like this little guy, we have these here, and then we have another set here, and then some kind of like break here, and then another set here at a slightly different angle. But the, uh, I mean, that could just be the way the natural coast used to be when those beach ridges formed. Uh, it's just interesting looking. And, uh, okay, and then these ones looking oddly perfect in some spots, like, uh, yeah. Again, just instinctively, I just um, squint and, I squint suspiciously um, 
Okay, these ones, I toured this area in a previous video. I can't remember which one, but these, uh, these streaks looking weirdly perfect in some spots. And then some of the surrounding place marks are indicative of weird uh, working over of the land as well. So if you just type this into my place marks, if you download my place marks and type it into the search bar, you can like word for word or character for character, then uh, it should take you to this spot and you can check it out. Brazil, uh, abrupt angular end. This isn't a great image, but uh, abrupt angular end is another thing to look out for with these streaks. Like sometimes we have like a angular dirt and any number of reasons for that, including modern development just decided to zone out a particular area for whatever reason and uh, something like that. Uh, just a number of number of places I've noticed this kind of angular end to the the streaks. I can't really see it very well in this image again, but uh, and then these streaks which look fairly flowy and natural. Honduras, these ones I just like because there's a stark contrast between the um, or a transition between these streaks and these streaks. Like these ones are going this way and then these ones are going this way and they like nice clean border between them. And that could certainly be natural, just the water changed trajectories. I just noticed some weird like little segmentations and like, like right here, like weird little angle changes of, of the river and stuff like that. Um, so again, it's only on a hunch and minimal evidence, but uh, a, little, a little nice and fine and regular there. Uh, oops. Uh, and right here, we've got some kind of line interrupting. Uh, okay. So that's more streaks. This is more streaks. Um, so there's streaks. I'm kind of widening that to include not just coastal stuff like beach ridges and coastal dunes, but also like stuff that's just in anywhere on land. If there's streaks of any kind, there certainly are. Uh, you see these going this way. Um, so large scale. I, I call it gashes, but it just kind of looks like a gash. I don't know what it is. Could be from a former uh, large scale storm or any number of natural floods or events. Um, large catastrophic natural disaster or something like that. But these ones are interesting because they kind of like peter out right here. Um, any, any number of explanations for that as well. Okay, Guinea-Bissau. Honestly, I couldn't tell you if that's Africa or South America. I think it's Africa. <laughs> um, okay, so here it's interesting because we have these angular patchy components to it. Like if you see this, like, er, er, like herky-jerky angular aspect to it. And these are further inland, it looks like. And Darn it. So the again these abrupt angular aspects to it, which uh, make it make me think it's like some somebody's art project or something. And also, I, I've, lately I've been kind of admiring the whimsy of it. Like it's not necessarily all doom and gloom, like the whole scenario. You know, like. There, there might be some kind of a <laughs> sense of humor behind it. Um, like uh, I heard, uh, I heard Brian Forrester uh, on his YouTube channel talk about, uh, or mention that the the knobs on the blocks and some of the megalithic blocks are playful. So I think there is a playful component to it. I thought that was a good choice of words. Um, so there may be a playful component to the to the weirdness we're seeing, like almost good-natured, uh, just duplicate image here. 
Um, and then briefly touch on this one more time, the possibility that this area in Ukraine was uh, replaced with streaks, like this former city. This is an old map, apparently. And if this is the same spot, then it uh, now has no signs of old city and is only streaks. So these may be mimicked streaks. I've mentioned this before in a pre previous video, but I just thought I'd bring it up one more time since this is the streaks topical video. And this is them like superimposed. It doesn't reveal much, but uh, could be some food for thought. Okay, Spain, another example of uh, streaks. I would say in multiple directions, like we have these ones looking kind of just uh, I don't I don't know just like a little set of straight lines maybe uh, some of the others have just eroded away or whatever you kind of see faint remnants of streaks like on and off in little places some of that may be geological even oh, gosh darn it I suck with my, the mouse sometimes I apologize um, so, uh, so you have like these streaks, straight ones. Some of these angular tree lines, I, I still question that, still bugs me a little bit. And I hope this isn't a natural river, because, like, I hope, I mean, and we'll have to look at it, because obviously that's uh, kinky and angular. So either that's a modern channel or something, a modern upkeep of a natural path, or I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a trail even, so I guess I shouldn't talk on it. But then there's like these streaks right here and these ones. They're like at different angles to each other, like these going this way. And these may, this might be rocks, but like, okay, like these streaks or ridges here going that way. And then these going this way, it's different orientation. And also, uh, like even up here, like these ones going this way, may or may not be modern clearing, but there might be, uh, it might be the same, the same project. And then like little angular areas of bareness, just a little irksome, some, some awkward features here. Chile, uh, this area we took a look at in the last video, I think, or one or two videos back. And we have these large scale streaks, which may be natural. We have like these, like. So these, this is like kind of like the windshield wiper sweep kind of look that I'm talking about. Same thing here. And it doesn't necessarily follow the quote coast or former coast. And here's a closer look at some of these, just like all kinds of orientations, like this way, this way, like going like curving like this, and then like completely right angle to that. Uh, these streaks going this way, this way, like lots of little rainbows of beach ridges or alleged beach ridges or whatever they're supposed to be or believed to be. Um, so. Yeah, this whole area is just kind of, to my eye, just looks like a bunch of little sweeps and strokes and haphazard uh, um, brush, brush strokes, more or less, yeah. And the, or, the awkward orientations bother me a little bit and the start and stop nature, the kind of angular ends to them, to some of them. Um, this one's kind of straight here. Yeah, the orientations are most, the miscellaneous orientations are what bother me most about these. There's a chance that they're natural, because uh, um, who knows what the coastline used to look like, you know, 100,000 years ago or whatever. Um, even so, it bugs me. Uh, close up look of some of these. They kind of just seem to end here, which is odd. Same thing here, kind of almost a linear end here, just like a short sweepy 
and then yeah, this like, straight thing, which we talked about already. Um, again, gash may not be the right word, but uh, a stripe of some kind. This may be natural or maybe artificial streak. It's kind of a singular wide streak here. Uh, just something to consider. It's still in chili. And yeah, like a ribbon. So maybe natural. And then we also have these to consider these streaks, these little sweeps or rainbows, swipes. And then these straighter ones as well. Maybe natural run over or whatever. Okay, and then another type of streak that we see is um, anywhere like inland. Like this is a common thing we see like uh, all around many places. Like this weird um, kind of haphazard uh, runny look or um, again, yeah, like almost like painting or like a brush stroke. And we have some many orientations. I could see this being natural, any number of explanations, but just like a lot of uh, different orientations and angles and there's a lot going on here. So could be anything. Certainly it looks fairly natural. Just um, it may not be, I don't know. Uh, some possible angular stuff. Like, I can't see it. Well, hopefully I'll remember to tour this area in Google Earth, but uh, some possible angular stuff and then just the uh, general look of it, kind of haphazard patchiness. Just seems like the kind of thing that whatever's behind all this would do, just kind of like a random pattern. And then also in Angola and stretching into, I uh, can't remember which country's next to it, but um, these long, uh, these are like hundreds of miles wide, these streaks like covering like a vast percentage of Africa, just huge, large scale, um, hundreds of mile long streaks. So, and by streaks, I mean these linear things here. And they're fairly linear in some spots and regular. In other spots, they meander a bit and there's some variation in the spacing and they're not all perfectly straight. Some of them are a little bit curved. Um, so I can't really say it's impossible that they're natural. Obviously, obviously it's possible. I could imagine it being resu the result of some kind of huge flood or something. Uh, or, uh, yeah, any, any number of things, but, um, like wind, f wind and sand activity, or former ocean bed or something like that. Uh, I just think it's possible that these huge streaks are artificial as well. So it's, uh, it's on the table for me. And is that the last image? Okay, I think that's the last image. So we will leave this video here and in the next video we will tour some of these areas in Google Earth. All right, see you then.